guy what's up everybody another day another video tour you guys want it and now I'm gonna bring it to you so today we are here in the city of Henderson and we're gonna to be touring this beautiful property by Blue Heron so we are in a community called Roma Hills it is a gargated community and as you come up on the hillside just to access your property you do have a gate here too as well well, take a look how beautiful this architectural design is. That is gorgeous. Look at this. This is the Zenith model by Blue Heron. This property, it is 7,690 square feet. The starting price on here, which is the base price, is $2,049,990. This just literally went up in price about 400000 from the last three weeks. Wow, take a look at this. This thing is gorgeous. Now this is gonna be a very long video, but I know a lot of you guys are fans out there. Take a look at this. Right across the uh, street here, we have Ascaya, multi-million dollar homes. I mean, just the landscaping alone. Look at this, this is gorgeous. I wish you guys were here with me to tour this thing. So we're going to come through an iron gate here and take a look at this. Isn't this breathtaking as you're walking down? Look at this. I also want to give a quick shout out to the uh, the marketing team and the, uh, the owners of the company here for allowing me to do a video tour. I feel so special. not everybody could do this so that's why I feel so special and honored so again thank you so much guys I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart wow look at this the entryway with the pool all I know is if you ever get drunk this could be very dangerous look at that all right let's go inside here you got a nice beautiful pivot door off to the left we have a full living space with some pocket doors as you can see it's nice and open beautiful texture look at that people ask me all the time who's my favorite builder and I gotta say Blue Heron is really the top of my list and look at this pivot door here this looks like a 72 inch pivot door. Oh, jeez. Look at this. Now as we enter, look at the flooring on here. Floating staircase. I don't even know where to begin. Like every corner, every wall completely detailed. No, I'm gonna just take you guys straight out to the back area. I mean, this is just like, unbelievable views look at this now it does get a little bit windy up here so we're gonna just start from back here cuz this is the money shot you're probably wondering how much does it cost to build a home like this this home right here is We'll probably sell for about 5.5 .5 to six million dollars. So the neighborhood down here, this is Roma Hills, so you would have to come through Roma Hills to come up here. Look at that view, guys. Beautiful jacuzzi. I mean, take a look at this. There's just way too much to look at. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. So we do have a master suite here too as well on the first floor, but the main master is on the second floor. There's so much options and configurations to choose from. Now, I know that um the models here, 
They're also building these models out in Lake Las Vegas as well. They, I believe they just uh, broke ground. If you guys are interested in Lake Las Vegas, let me know. If you guys like this style. Love the uh, grill section here. I mean, look at the ceilings alone with the control joints. You got the speakers here right above. I mean, look at just look at this. Beautiful living room. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. That's all I'm saying. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. Look at that fireplace. Beautiful feature wall. Oh my gosh, with the LED lights with the grid. Dude, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Oh, it feels good right here. Look at this. True zero threshold on the pocket doors. I mean, look at that. Home is fully automated. Let's take a look at this kitchen right here. Oh, they got the European style kitchen. Full overlays. Wow, look at this refrigerator. I'm just so excited. Beautiful island here. You got the quartz. You got the undermounted sink. Let's see what kind of cabinets these are. These look like the uh, thermofoil cabinets. You got the dishwasher right here. Obviously, you're going to have the dovetails. Love the uh, cabinets. Look at that. Look at the cabinets above. Isn't that gorgeous? Look how streamlined these LED lights are. Oh, look at that cabinet. Ooh, that's nice. You got your Wolf Cook countertops. Known for the red knobs here. Wow. This is just gorgeous. Look, she got some pantry space behind this door. How does this open up? Oh, look at this. It just swivels in. Oh, nice. Okay. This door is solid, nice and heavy, too. Love that. Man, take a look at these uh, rocker switches. I don't even know what to say. I'm just like so baffled. You got the second island with the LED lights underneath. And look at this. Love this right here. That's gorgeous. All right, let's come back here. You got an office here. These pocket doors do open up too as well. I'll have more information in the link in the description below. Also, if you guys want to reach on out to Don or Jimmy, sales rep. Wow, look at this wine room. I love how they floated this and put the LED lights all the way around this. That's gorgeous. Okay, so this is locked. Can't go inside. I believe on this one you do have an option to have an elevator. There's a lot of configurations that you can do to this model. Oh, look at this. We have a... A doggy shower. Nice. Here's your laundry room. 
Again, you got the full overlay cabinets, 42 uppers, European style. I wonder what cabinets are these? Who's the makers on these things? You have a light orange pill texture. Looks like the uh, tile in here is um, 18 by 36. Here's another room, could be an office. Remember you have, uh, I believe five to seven rooms that you have an option to build. And we have nine foot ceilings. Beautiful barn door here, I love these. Sliders right here. These are aluminum slides. And, and take a look at the way that they just run the outlets. Love that. Gives it an own style. You got straight edge cornering. Looks like we have a six inch on the baseboards, solid doors. This right here is the two car garage. But sales office, so we're not gonna go in here. I mean, take a look at their rocker switches. Here's your elevator. Love these uh, panels here. Come on down this way. We have the guest bathroom. Oh, look at this vanity. Love that sink. Oh, I love how they incorporated this uh, shelves here on the side. That's a good idea. It is a little bit dark in here. Now I love this um, this black mirror. I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Now I love how they integrated this picture right here and through the LED lights. I mean that's just gorgeous. Here we have a spa room. I'm just speechless. I don't even know like what to say. There's just way too much to look at. I mean, just like every nook, every cranny, there's like attention to detail. It's like they turned every single stone and really looked at their product and said, this is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. I want to add this. I want to add this. I mean, look at the uh, speakers. They painted the speakers black, the grills uh, black too as well. Again, if you guys want more information about this property, as far as school zones and all that good stuff, everything that you want to know about this property, um, got some storage here. So this would be the closet for the bedroom. I will link in the description below. So let's go into the master suite. I love how they have this door here. Gives you privacy. Look at this. Now let me know in the comments below, once I show you guys the main master, would you prefer the upstairs or the downstairs? I'm gonna come on this side so we get the light on my back side here. Beautiful pocket doors, and take a look at this view. Gorgeous.
beautiful granite. I think that's a heat glow. Brand is that? Oh, I can't even see it. Look at that feature wall with the panels. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll try to make this video a little faster. I know the other videos were about an hour. Oh, look at the zero threshold on this shower. Ooh, love that transition. Oh, I love that black glass here. It just makes a shower look so much bigger. This room is locked. It's gotta be the what toilet, right? Yeah. Take a look at that. All right, let's go back up stairs. Now it gets a little bit windy and chilly up here because we are elevated a little bit higher. I'm not too sure how high. Wow, look at this. Love this rock here all underneath. It just seems like every time you come through here, you always got to like jump over or walk over this so that way you don't end up tripping. But man, it's definitely worth it because it looks good. I love this single stem floating staircase. And this one is unique because it's not down the center, it's along the side. So this is um, steel looks like, yeah, down the center. This is just a great idea, look at this, this is brilliant. I bet you this option right here is like thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 on this option. And I love the fact that, look at these LED lights here. That's gorgeous, look at that. All right, let's go upstairs. So you got a couple steps before you hit a landing. Let's take a look at it from down here. Look at this. Let's go upstairs. You got the bar here. We're gonna start off in this room. So this is a game room, and I believe you can do a option to have a room up here too as well with a bathroom. But as you can see on this configuration, they did a full game room. So these will open up. That will open up too as well. And that takes you out to above the uh, courtyard here. that this one has a projection screen that uh, comes down right th right through here these curtains will shut you black out this room be able to watch your movies We got nine foot ceilings, so this is your AC unit. If you guys want to know how much does it cost to power something like this up every single month as far as utilities, you can contact the utility company. They should be able to tell you. What do we have back here? Okay, that door is locked. 
Come into this room. Wow, this is a large room. I love how they did the uh, frosted glass halfway to give you some privacy. I love that. Again, if you guys want dimensions and information regarding this property, just go ahead and click on the link in the description below. If you guys have not had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So in this one, they just did a standard closet here. Oh, so this is what this is. So this shares the the bathroom. Okay. Got it. Here's your elevator. There's the uh, courtyard down here. Beautiful bar. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, boy. That looks hot. Love the uh, windows right there. My boy right there, Rudy. Say what's up, Rudy. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, Rudy just started working for me. He's doing all the video editing. Let me know what you guys think about his style. If you guys like it. Look at his bar here. That's all I'm saying. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Ooh. Wow. I mean, look at this view. I mean, isn't this the life? As hard as everybody works, we all should deserve something like this. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. There, there's no reason why you can't own something like this. Like, seriously. It's like almost every bedroom, every angle, the way that this home is designed is really to give you a beautiful view. Let's go in the master. The main master. Ooh, I love this pocket door here. So it looks like we have a 16 foot pocket door. This opens up. But we're not going to open this up because I believe we can't go outside on this one. There's certain rules I got to follow and I don't remember them. Now, take a look at this. I mean, look at the attention to detail right here on this railing underneath here. And almost like they did like a 45 degree and they plastered it down and started an LED light. I mean, just attention to detail like that. That's just unbelievable. Not too sure if that's even cabinet space on the top. LED lights above. And I love how this thing tears up for the main living space here or your sleeping space. Look at this, you have LED lights underneath. Look at all this cabinet space. Every corner, every nook and cranny, attention to detail. These guys utilize every single space. I mean, take a look at this. 72 inch fireplace, right? And this is so like pre-thought out during the time of construction like you knew you were going to add an LED light here you knew that you were going to do a three three inch right here right to do this feature wall that just to add that LED light I mean just the thought of that going into this design during construction like who thinks ahead like that that's just crazy I love this towel right here. Kind of gives you that snake skin or that alligator print. Looks like you got a sink up here, refrigerator. 
Look at this. You got your small little cafe. Making an espresso machine right here. Look at this. Okay, so these... I think these open. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't think this one opens. Take a look at this. Look at this bathroom. Oh, this is some next level stuff right here. I mean, there's just way too much. Look at this. They took the tile all the way down. Look at this. All the way down. Underneath. Vanity's one piece. I think this is higher than 36 inches. I mean, take a look at this. Yeah, water runs right through there. Isn't that crazy? But I guess how does it work if you get this thing clogged? Let's see where the trap is. Okay, so the, the trap is covered here, so that's not a big deal. Okay, cool. I mean, look at the way they run their cover plates. And this transition is unbelievable. You got the tile that goes all the way through. Here's your shower. I'm gonna go inside, look at this. Look at that transition all the way through. Then you got your glass. I mean, look at this. Enough for two to take a shower. Everything just transitions into each other. I mean, got the feature wall. Look at this. You got your little nooks to put your decorative items. Look at this. You got your bench here, bench there. And take a look at this. If you guys want to have an outdoor shower, let me unlock it. I've noticed Blue Heron does this all the time. I mean, take a look at this. Love the lights underneath. You have a bench. Now, you're going to take a shower out here, right? But you can actually close these right here so that way people can't see you. Look at this. I'm outside taking a shower. You can't tell me this is not gorgeous. Alright, let's go back inside here. The only thing about these rocks is you definitely need housekeeping because this is going to get all ashy and dirty. Ooh, look at the lights right here too as well with the mirror. It's crazy how like light plays a big role and how you can use mirrors to make the room look a lot bigger than it really appears. I guess this is where you would do chair, have all your makeup. Now this whole wing of the home here, you can also do a configuration to as well. And I believe, I'll have this in the link in the description below, this cuts off here. All this would be utilized into another bedroom, right? So that way you can have that seventh bedroom if you choose to. And this one would also have a bathroom, so it literally would cut off here. The configuration of this bathroom and that um, master suite is going to be a little bit different. But if you went with this configuration, look how big your closet is. Look at this. This is a huge master closet. This is like half of my house right here. This is unbelievable. See what we have in here. AC unit, AV room. Cool. Come down here. What else we got here? Look at this. This all could be like a master closet. Oh, here's the AV room. Do not touch. Now, coming into this room, this is very hot. The good news is that they do have an AC vent here to cool the system down. Tell me they got his and hers. 
Oh yeah, we got hers and his. These are all extra closet space. And these doors are very he heavy and they do pivot too as well. Now, if you guys want to see this in person, um, give me a call. We'll set up an appointment uh, with Don and uh, Jimmy. Good people. And let's go out here. Let's finish this off right here. Off on this balcony. And take a look at this. This is just so gorgeous with the fireplace. All right. Let me know what your thoughts are about this property. If you guys are interested, if you can see yourself living here. If you guys have not had a chance to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I'm Chuck. It's Cruiswatt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.